Okay, everybody. It's a standoff between me and wizards. Who's going to flinch first? I have come here to chew bubblegum and kick ass. And I'm all out of bubblegum. <laughs> yes. Who's going to flinch first? Mm -hmm. The multi-billion dollar corporation or this fool. <laughs> we know who's going to flinch first. Okay, so what I'm talking about here, right? Is wizards going to... Uh, check themselves or are they going to wreck themselves? You tell me. The breakneck speed of products coming out from wizards, it's uneffing believable. Wallet fatigue is real. One of the major things I've been preaching this year, and like, because I feel like more so this year than any other year, you need to be choosy. You needed to. Buy Kamigawa, skip Kapana, skip Commander Legends, and buy Double Masters. You know, like, no Crimson Vow, no Innistrad Midnight Hunt. It's just, if you wanted cards from those sets, you buy the singles. It's not worth it to buy the sealed. It's definitely not worth it to buy the sealed at hold. So the breakneck speed at which Wizards is making product, the long term, it's going to have some weird effects on sealed box prices. You're going to see certain sets that kind of don't deserve it be worth more than they should just because of the fact that, you know, there wasn't extra print runs. Stuff like Innistrad Midnight Hunt draft boxes are probably going to go up because they didn't do extra print runs for it. Weird, weird, weird price anomalies. Like, uh... Commander Legends 2, uh, Battle for Baldur's Gate, and the Dragons. They're worth a lot, right? But they're only worth a lot because not many were open because people didn't tear open that set. It's, it's like an artificial scarcity. And the manufactured scarcity, that's what it is. It's like Wizards created their own scarcity that is secondary to like actual scarcity of it's a weird idea but it's yeah it's manufactured scarcity and wizards has been doing it for years it's just that now i think the they are way off kilter man and like whew, just riding outside the lines right now and into no man's land and we don't know where things are gonna settle out right so what's gonna break first wizards or me i think not me because as long as you're smart about it you're going to skip these sets that you know, or you're going to buy them later on when they dip. You're going to skip these sets and go for the ones that are obvious. I think Wizards might actually wreck themselves by doing this. I mean, look, this game is too big, too big to fail. I don't want to say that. We've seen crazier things go down. But how wizards is doing things it's just like they need to figure their shit out quick or uh, oh man i, I don't want to see i think what we're what we're heading towards is very right now it feels very similar to the 90s and the junk wax era for sports cards and all this stuff it feels similar to that and it's it's a little worrisome magic as a game though has a leg up on stuff like uh, sports cards where it's just a player and their stats, a little story, whatever on the back, you know, these cards are game pieces. So it's, it's not quite apples to apples. However, when you're making chase cards, uh, a Hidetsugu devouring chaos instead of uh, the Boseju who shelters all, you know, like, or Wandering Emperor. What if you had a Wandering Emperor Neon? What if Wandering Emperor was the Neon card? And you can only find it in Neon. Ultimate Chase, some shit like that. That, that you know, that's another story. That's actual rarity. It is manufactured, but that's actual rarity at the same time. I don't know. It's just... Wizard's current rate is... is it's wearing people out. Even Rudy's wear, worn out. He was going to have his 6.9 anniversary in uh, the springtime, but he's like, damn, the amount of products and wallet fatigue, I'm pushing it back. 
It's kind of crazy, right? So yeah, you know, even Mr. I'm going to throw money at every set is, you can tell he's a little bit worn out and knows that people are worn out. So who's going to break first? You? Me? Wizards? I don't know. All I know is that this speed of production cannot be maintained indefinitely. You're going to do stuff like kill IPs that were worthwhile. Like Commander Legends, nobody's going to want to do that anymore. D&D, no one's going to want any magic sets like that anymore. I don't know. There's other examples, but... I think I said what I wanted to say about this and what Wizards is doing and like, we don't know. We don't know where it's going to end up because we've never seen Wizards do stuff like this. And, you know, killing Jumpstart too. Let's make it for every set. Man. And, and they can't even print their sets on time. Look at uh, Unfinity. It's, it's crazy what they're doing to themselves. I don't think that the market can support all these cards either. Anyway, you me buying any of these cards today. Please uh, remember to use my TCG Player affiliate link. Copy and paste it in a tab on your uh, internet browser and just go through that every time. Easy way to make sure it happens. How you use it, you click through, and then you shop like normal and it really helps out. Check out my Patreon. Otherwise, have a great day, take care, and Fuck peace. This, man. Game over, man. Game over. What the fuck are we going to do now? What are we going to do? Maybe we could build a fire, sing a couple of songs, huh? Why don't we try that?